Penilla, the, the Euros obviously just took place here in England. You were part of it with Denmark. It had record crowds. Was it something that you had to pinch yourself about? Did you expect there'd be a big turnout? Um, yeah, I, I did expect it would be huge because I think they have worked so hard to, to get really, a really good tournament in England. And yeah, it turned out the way we hoped for. Yeah, it was an amazing uh, atmosphere in the stadiums and even to our games uh, where England wasn't included. It was a lot of good, uh, yeah, good games, good atmosphere. And uh, do you think that atmosphere, that euphoria, the excitement, the, uh, the attendances, do you think that'll carry on to the WSL? I really hope so. Uh, I really hope so. And I think it could be like England did so good in the tournament, won it. Uh, I think that for sure will give some kind of effect on how yeah, the fans will come to this, the league games. Unfortunately, Denmark got knocked out in the group stage. Did you still follow the tournament? Did you stay? Did you watch any of the games live or certainly on TV? I was watching it on TV uh, and I watched Sweden, uh, England live, but otherwise I, I watched them on TV, yeah. And uh, targets for this season for Chelsea? I mean, obviously when you talk about Chelsea, it's always about winning titles. Last season was a, a, a very successful season, winning two trophies, missing out on the, the League Cup. Obviously you want to repeat that, but win the League Cup. Champions League is a big, a big thing as well? Yeah. I think you, you said it good yourself, like obviously we want to win the league again, we want to win all the domestic titles we can win, uh, but I think Champions League is something we really want to win this year, uh, like all the other years, but it is something we haven't won yet, so I think the hunger for that one is even bigger uh, than the other ones, but I think as a club, yeah, we just want to win everything we can win. We're an Australian broadcaster, so we're obviously very interested also in Sam Kerr. Um, how, how do you rate her? What, she's, what does she like to train with and, and play with? I mean, she's an amazing football player and what I like almost the most about her is her personality. She's an amazing uh, human as well. Uh, she gives a lot of uh, confidence in the group and a lot of good spirit, I think. Uh, but yeah, I mean, as a football player, she's uh, yeah, she's so good in like finding the right places to be, to score goals. She can score in many different ways. I think obviously what she's like unbelievable with is her header. Like, I haven't seen anyone with that kind of uh, explosiveness like her. Yeah. So. Do you do you rate her as one of the best players in the world at the moment? Yeah, for sure. Um, World Cup next year and uh, Denmark are one of the, 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 the fewer teams that so far that have qualified for the World Cup, so congratulations. Thank you. Um, have you been to Australia before? I haven't. No. You haven't? Have you been to New Zealand? Obviously it's held I've in Australia. I've been in New Zealand. New Zealand. Okay. I've been in New Zealand actually playing the under-17 World Cup. Okay, so is there anything you know about Australia? Much about? Kang kang kangaroos? Kangaroos? Okay. Is that one of the things you're looking forward to, <laughs> to maybe seeing? I don't think I will see that tournament, but hopefully maybe I will have some time afterwards to explore Australia as a country as well. What are the expectations for, for Denmark at the World Cup? Yeah, it's difficult to say. I think we're still like in a period where we are developing as a team. We have a lot of young players. We, uh, now we got a lot of experience at this tournament, at the Euros. Uh, so I think next year we will have more experience in the team. Uh, and everyone is one year older, have tried a bit more. So hopefully we can do better at the World Cup than we did at the Euros. And uh, for Australian fans who might not know the Danish side so well, who is a player that you would say that Australian fans would need to look out for? Um, we have a really uh, talented young player who's uh, called Katrine Kuhl. She's like 18 or 19 years old, really a great midfielder. And where is she playing at the moment? In Denmark, FC Nordsjælland. Okay. Um, and when you talk about, uh, we talk about the, the World Cup, the, the popularity of the women's game, how it's exploded, 2019 at the World Cup, I mean, from my perspective, it's probably where it really sort of came to the fore and people started to really take notice. The Euros took it to another level. Um, do you feel that the, the game is forever going forward? And if so, how have you felt the impact as a player? Yeah, I think it is. I think for every year we just see the, the developing keep going. Uh, it's getting better for every year we are. We're playing, uh, I think, the respect from people around the world is also just getting better, bigger. Uh, I feel that all the time as in Denmark. I feel like also when I come out in Europe that the perception of women's football has changed. 
from being something we just do for fun to actually being really serious. And I think it will yeah, keep on developing in the future um, because I think the potential is huge. I wish you all the very best for the World Cup next year and obviously for the season with Chelsea as well. Thanks. Did you enjoy that? There's so much more, so why not hit subscribe and download the Optus Sport app.